I would like to say to all the Irish people abroad and here in this country, and I would like to everybody to listen, please, to my statement on this. There's a program launched today by the government of Ireland on the rebuilding of Ireland, which means social housing for help people to live in and for other things to rebuild this great country. But rebuilding this country takes time and takes effort. And I ask all the Irish people, if you live abroad or anything, if you have enough money, and if you have the will to rebuild your country to a powerhouse, which we should be, because the Irish built the world, built every city nearly in this world, because they left because Ireland was too poor and not enough money and went off to America, built huge, huge skyscrapers across the states and in the deserts and everything, built weapons for the United States government, build nuclear bombs for the United States government, build everything. The same in Canada, the same everywhere, the same in Britain. In the United Kingdom wouldn't be so wealthy if the Irish people who were starving during the famine and during times of crisis in this country had not jumped on a boat and gone to America or Britain. This world would be very different. America would not be a superpower. And America would be in the deep depression, as they still would be, because Ireland, the Irish people, went over to America, went nothing, built America up, built their lives up. And now I ask the people of the world, if you have a company, or if you have a business, to try and invest in Ireland, because everybody on this planet has somebody... They came from an Irish background, no matter if he's a cousin, no matter if he's a nephew, and especially in America. Because the amount of Irish citizens in America is ten times the size of the population in Ireland. Because the reason why, and I'm telling the government so badly about this, we should have an immigration policy. They should be like we the immigrants should serve a year in the army before they even get allowed into the allowed to even live in the country. And should serve a year in the army with little pay and to be patriotic and to speak Irish. That's all a disaster for immigrants, to be honest. Because if they're coming here, and our country's already under severe pressure with housing, and we haven't even got enough to feed our own people and keep our own people in shelters and everything. And there's people dying on the streets of Dublin. There's people dying everywhere else. There's hardly enough guards. There's hardly enough soldiers. There's hardly enough hospitals. There's not enough beds. You just get my point, I think. But I ask every Irish person today to have a bit of hope and the dream of a free, better, independent country where we will not be bullied around by Germany, France, Russia or any other country. Because Ireland has her own destiny and her destiny is to be free and to be a powerhouse. The powerhouse of democracy, the powerhouse of freedom, and the powerhouse of justice. No matter what the EU does, Ireland will stick by its policies. If the EU calls us terrorists or anything like that, then we will not pass no remarks. Because in the end of the times, we built our countries, no matter if it's Germany, France, or Poland, Irish people went over to build their countries back up after war and after famine. And nobody came to Ireland's help when Ireland was starving to death because of the British Empire. Nobody came to our help. Not even one country decided to stand up for Ireland and say this country should not be treated like this. Not even one country stand up for us. And we stood up for the whole world and we took a giant leap for the whole world we built countries up again. We fought wars for different countries that wasn't our own. Because the Irish people did not have enough money. And went to fight the, uh, with the British Empire against the Germans. And French army and the American army and so forth. And I say to the Irish people who are listening to me. We all should have hope. Not in our government. Not in our president. 
but in ourselves, because ourselves has bigger hopes and dreams of being independent and hopeful. And our dreams will not be dreams no longer. And anything we desire in this country will come true. If we have faith in ourselves and if we have the self-respect for all our citizens and for everybody on this island. Because together as Irish people, as people who have survived through famine, oppression and devastations, we will build a country like America, like Britain, like Germany, like any other European power. And we make them look so bad because we are an island with 4 million people and Germany has over 23 million people. And we will build our nation so proud, so big and so great that no other country in the world would say tiny little Ireland. Because tiny little Ireland is going to say we are going to stand up and we're not taking abuse from any other countries because we are destined for freedom and for justice and for equality for all our citizens. It might not be like any other country in Europe but Ireland has one of the biggest and best people's spirits. During oppression during the British Empire where we starved to death not even one person from the United Kingdom helped us. We stood up against the biggest empire on the planet and in a way we defeated them defeated them by hammering them we hammered them with our minds and with our hopes and dreams of a free state and by god we have it now so by god we better do something and bring our country back to the people who died in the famine and in the depression on trying to find Irish freedom we must rebuild our country. We must build it so great that every other country in the world will look up at us and say they're the Irish state. And we will not fuck with them. Because the Irish state will fuck with Jews. Because Ireland is an independent and free country with so, so many people. Civilians and military people have died for independence. So by God, we should do what they did. We will build our country. We will build our hopes. We will build our dreams. And we will build a great soul. Thank you.